One of the five reasons why we kept coming back in Bali is the diverse selection of food options. Made by local Balinese, Indonesian, Asian, or Western dishes, Bali has it. In this video, I'll share with you the top five restaurants we make sure to come back to whenever we are in Bali. Let's dive in. Top five on the list is Lotus Restaurant. It is one of the dining options available at Melia Bali, a luxury beachfront resort located in Nusa Dua. The restaurant provides an elegant yet relaxed ambience and features traditional Balinese and tropical decor elements. They specialize in a variety of Asian dishes with a focus of authentic Indonesian flavors. We especially love their satay, nasi goreng, laksa, and local desserts. The most special part of dining here is witnessing the Balinese music and dance performances while you're enjoying your meal. By the time of our visit, reservation is not a must but is appreciated. Our top 4 is Potato Head Beach Club in Semenyak. What do they say about Potato Head? You've never been to Bali if you've never been to Potato Head. Well, they kind of changed the game for Bali's dining and chill out scene for sure. Aside from its unique and one of a kind architecture, Dessa Potato Head boasts numerous dining options inside. We especially enjoy their beach club. For this visit, we just walked in at around 3 pm and got this day bed for ourselves for a minimum spending of 3 million rupiah or around 180 US dollars. We ended up spending more but it was a lot of fab drinks and cocktails and delicious dishes. Our little one enjoyed playing by the beach and dipping in their infinity pool while we are all enjoying beautiful sunset. Potato Head is definitely a must visit for anyone visiting Bali. The beach club can be easily packed especially on peak season so advanced reservation is recommended. Sardine by Cake Club restaurant is a hidden gem in Semenyak. At least that's what I thought as I feel that I'm in an exclusive place whenever we are dining there. But the fact is, it is one of the most famous go-to restaurants in Semenyak. They offer innovative culinary experiences with a unique rice field view. The first time I came here was in 2016 and I fell in love with the place instantly. The place is all about fresh seafood using local daily freshly caught fish. They also have a few non-seafood options like this perfectly cooked, delicious steak. They did close down during COVID but fortunately reopened under K-Club management, hence its new name is Sardine by K-Club. My little one enjoyed roaming around the rice field and dog watching too. Mm -hmm. By the way, allow me to thank Travelspan for the generous 50% discount they will give to anyone who will download and buy their premium service through my link below. I use Travelspan to track all our expenses and I was super satisfied with it that I reached out to them. Use my code MISSIS, M-I-S-I-S, inside the Travelspan app to get this huge discount on your first yearly payment of a yearly Travelspan premium subscription. Thank you Travelspan. Sakura Japanese restaurant easily climbed as our top 2 choice. We love the spacious terrace set up overlooking the beautiful landscape of Melia Hotel in Nusa Dua. We have the best Japanese food experience here and we will surely come back again and again. The sashimi and sushi are to die for. I need not to say more. Just call and reserve your table as soon as you arrive in Bali as you can easily get fully booked weeks in advance. And our top one on the list, nowhere else but in the captivating Ubud area. Our most favorite restaurant in Bali, Mosaic. Mosaic restaurant is an acclaimed fine dining establishment known for its innovative cuisine and exceptional dining experience. It has become a must visit destination for food enthusiasts and is renowned for its innovative fusion of French techniques with local Balinese and Indonesian ingredients. This unique approach creates a symphony of flavors that highlights the best of both culinary worlds. The restaurant is divided into three sections, the table room, the dining room, and the chef's table. They also have a romantic gazebo which is a one-of-a-kind dining experience for two. 
people room. We have a special. Food what is people room? They will be like, uh, what is it like? In uh, France, they said like uh, local uh, the area when you can have a small drink and a small like a sharing thing with a small food there. Okay. Yeah, that's why it's called a people room. So we will have the tour of Mosaic restaurant. Yes. And, uh, so the garden area is only available at night, right? Yes, of course. So, the gas station. Uh, but during of this day, yes, start two, two weeks ago, we have something unique with the garden afternoon. So we'll do like a safari thing and it's from the small bar and also we get a sweet thing. We'll be surfing in the garden. If you the guests want to get like a nice sweet apart area. Yeah. yeah. Does it look like Hello, Chloe. We go here. Uh -huh. yeah. So kids are allowed here in this area. If you're in a lunch area, really. but okay. it's not really order that dinner because we still have the like, other guests. Our experience with Mosaic back in 2017 happens to be at this gazebo for a romantic 10-course dinner and it has been our favorite restaurant in Bali since then. This is a special area for the chef table. Yeah, there will be like a something unique when you have dinner. We are set cooking in front of you and directly they explain what the food is. Their staff are all lovely and we are super happy with full tummies every after dining at Mosaic. All these restaurants trip advisor links are on the description box so you can easily view the reviews, menus, and book your table if you're convinced enough. Bali has over 16,000 restaurants so surely everyone has their favorites. But trust me, you'll love all this that I have recommended.